What's up, fight fans? Mr. Mustache here. This Saturday, we got a super cool matchup between Kyler Phillips and Rayoni Barcelos in the Bantamweight division. Where you got Barcelos, yeah, he's lost three out of his last four. He's coming off of a really nasty knockout to Umar Nurmagomedov most recently in January. Before that, he had the win against Trevin Jones, but got a guy who's 36 years old. He definitely, a few years ago, was on top of the world, right? 16 and 1. And. But now you see the age kind of become the deciding factor now. Father time always wins. And in a weight class like Bantamweight, you have to rely on that speed and athleticism. Not a lot, you know, because you see middleweight, light heavyweight, heavyweight, a lot of the guys 36, 37, you see those guys actually kind of performing a little better. They age a little bit more like a fine wine. When you have the lower weight classes who have to rely on the speed, athleticism, the timing, once those things kind of go away, you see them struggle and lose to the up-and-comers and the guys, the young, hungry killers who are still fast, athletic, stronger, more precise. They're just still in their prime. And against Kyler Phillips, who I mean, literally is the Matrix. I mean, he is very versatile, exciting to watch. He can get you anywhere. He can put you out. But the problem with Kyler, he's... I wouldn't want to say his inexperience, but I want to say just his lack of fight IQ. He's so, he's so wild. If he's just able to hone it in a little bit, pick his shots a little bit better, don't put himself so out of position, We could, you, you have a title contender instantly. Like, So it's kind of frustrating to watch him a little bit, but he had that weird thing too where he popped and he got cut, but then he, he's back with the UFC. So he must have like cleared his name i don't know enough about what happened but i definitely know enough that something did happen and uh but he's back here obviously so something good happened on his end of the deal and i think that against this is his fight to lose this is the ufc's version of a layup for a fighter yes anything could happen in mma that's why i love mma so much and barcelos definitely has a path to victory here but I think Kyler Phillips, man, he he's the matrix. He really is that good. He trains out of uh, the MMA lab, I think, over with Tim Welch and Sugar Sean. And, and he's, he's just so explosive. He has such an arsenal. He's not scared to put it out there. He's got power. And I remember just how much he's grown from the Ultimate Fighter to where he is now. I mean, if he's just able to just pick his shots a little better – be a little bit more mature out there and just have better fight IQ, we have a contender instantly in the UFC. So I think it starts here this Saturday. I mean, Kyler's only 28 years old, super young, just just scratching the surface of his prime. And I think that he has a huge opportunity to showcase his abilities against a super solid veteran in Rayoni Barcelos. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think but in this matchup. Do you guys think the Matrix, do you think it's his time? Or is the vet, Rayoni Barcelos, going to show why he is the vet? Guys, love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.